Hello, welcome to this new, new webinar. Today uh, we will talk about the assessment of thermal effects in concrete structures with civil fan powered by Mark. Uh, the webinar host so it will be uh, Roman Martin and myself, uh, Ronald Siat. The summary of uh, of this uh, uh, webinar: uh, the goals will be the finite element analysis for assessing the thermal behavior and structural response of uh, concrete structures uh, by means of uh, two examples. Uh, uh, one will be will cover the risk of early age concrete thermal cracking and the uh, fire uh, safety assessment. Uh, as well, uh, you will see the, the importance of uh, restraining and, and, and the effects of the boundary conditions, uh, plus uh, with their uh, final recommendations uh, of uh, good practices. Yes, uh, uh, we are going to see today two examples, uh, as, as Ronald said. The first example is the early thermal cracking on a foundation block, as you can see here. Um, and uh, well, in this uh, foundation block, uh, we'll have uh, the, the concrete curing temperature, the, the, the temperature, the heat that is generated by, uh, by a concrete maturing, and uh, we'll have the thermal expansion of the of this concrete block plus time-dependent uh, properties. The the cracking stress uh, will vary with with time. And of course, the restraint and plus reinforcement effects on cracked patterns. And the second example will be the fire safety assessment on a tunnel lining segment. And we also will uh, analyze the boundary condition influence. The software uh, to be used is uh, Civil Fan Powered by Mark. It's a high end uh, pur general purpose uh, finite element software. Uh, including advanced uh, uh, analysis uh, capabilities and suitable for uh, uh, all your all the needs for for civil and, civil and structural uh, sectors it's uh, developed uh, based on based on, on mark as a solver and mentat as, as as measure which is one of the world's uh, most powerful powerful nonlinear solvers uh, provided by uh, hexagon uh, company uh, to simplify and, and enhance uh, management uh, of civil engineering structural and general technical analysis. Well, um, civil fan power by Mark uh, has a lot of uh, futures. Um, most of them are related with uh, civil and uh, civil and geotechnical engineering analysis. Um, uh, of course, uh, there are a lot of uh, tools for ULS and, LS and SLS design of steel and concrete structures based on codes and standards, calculate reinforcement amount or calculate uh, checking by Euro codes, ACI codes and many other codes. And uh, uh, it is um, also uh, to these capabilities, it is added uh, um, some advanced uh, nonlinear simulations focused on geotechnical, uh, uh, geotechnical analysis and also seepage structural or thermal couple uh, structural analysis, thermal structural couple analysis. Uh, today we are going to focus in this last uh, advanced capability, the thermal structural couple analysis. Yes, uh, the features uh, of this uh, type of uh, analysis uh, are uh, the properties, uh, thermal orthotropic material properties, uh, including uh, thermal conductivity and specific uh, heat, uh, nonlinear behavior of the material, uh, including uh, uh, the uh, temperature and time uh, dependent uh, uh, properties. Uh, of course, the uh, uh, boundary conditions uh, uh, according to the convection, conduction and radiation uh, for any type of uh, elements and uh, a nonlinear steady state and uh, transient thermal structural coupled analysis is included and uh, you can process results for uh, this kind of uh, heat transfer analysis. Well, this uh, the first the first uh, example we are going to see is the early age concrete thermal cracking. 
in this model, uh, we will have um, um, solid elements for concrete, also thrust element for rebars. We are going to analyze two different models to compare results between um, um, a reinforced and non-reinforced concrete model. And um, of course, the analysis type is a transient thermal structural couple analysis. The nonlinearities that we have are the, the, the concrete uh, nonlinearities, of course, uh, thermal expansion and time dependent properties, especially the, uh, the crack stress, the, the, the crack, uh, cracking stress that is a time dependent property. And uh, the boundary conditions in this case uh, uh, we'll have in this, in this block um, the ambient heat exchange that could be through the formwork that is on the sides of this model. And on top is the, the, the ambient heat is through air. So there are different uh, filming coefficients. And the mechanical support is the, the, the base layer on, on the bottom that is all concrete with, uh, with a higher stiffness and under it is there are uh, fixed uh, fixed mechanical boundary conditions so if we open the the software we can see we can see here the model uh, this these are two different blocks uh, this first block um, has the the heat generation so here if we see in the software um, the boundary conditions that are applied this is the flux Boundary condition, and here we can see that this is associated to this block, uh, to this volume, and it is uh, the, the input is a, the volumetric flux table is this one, that is a um, time dependent uh, table. So the input is through hours, it could be minutes, anything, and uh, well, this is the chart of, this is the the, the heat generation. Uh, that is uh, from 0 to 120 hours. That, that is what we have solved, 120 hours for this model. So well, uh, this is the, the heat generation uh, from this uh, from maturing of this of this concrete block. This is an all concrete, so it is not generating any type of heat, but there is a contact between them with a heat transfer, and um, and also the different the other boundary conditions are the convection uh, air boundary condition so here we have different filming um, uh, coefficients and in this table we have the ambient temperature the ambient temperature is this one so there are different uh, values between day and night and we are going to solve these five days 120 hours and the same for uh, the form work on, on the size of this element this model and uh, so here uh, we can uh, we can see that we have different filming coefficients and different boundary conditions on both sizes. Also, this uh, formwork is generating a, a mechanical boundary condition that has been modeled through springs. So these springs we can find them here. An example: If I plot this spring on the mesh, we can see uh, we can see that is uh, that how it is generated. So well. Uh, it is only it is a simplification of the model, but uh, it, it can be modeled in, in different ways. We have added these springs, and this formwork can, can be removed during the analysis. So, well, uh, in this in this model, we have solved for uh, many different days. Uh, well, hour per hour, we have solved the model, and uh, the material properties here we can see for concrete. This is the old concrete, the new concrete. Here we can see that this a non-linear uh, uh, material behavior that's defined. It has isotropic plasticity um, uh, compression model. And for cracking, it is a nature dependent property. In civil film, we can add a constant value for, for cracking stress, temperature, or age dependent properties. And here we have a table for every hour, a different value. and we saw the chart how the, the the cracking stress is increased during time. Also, the rest of material properties are time dependent material properties. So, also for compression, we have uh, different compression um, uh, parabolic loads the, for the analysis diagram. Here we have for different days and Silfem interpolates for this. So, we have this, this chart, this, this stress strain relationship. And also to this nonlinear model, we can add also creep and sync rates behavior. So, but 
the most important part of this model is the heat the heat transfer uh, analysis the heat generation from concrete maturing the uh, the ambient uh, temperature on, on the different phases of this block and also uh, in this block uh, we have modeled just one quarter just one quarter of the, of the block so we have added symmetric boundary conditions on, on all the sizes and the, this is uh, very useful to see the internal uh, temperature of this model and also uh, internal cracks on this model so well uh, if we go back to the powerpoint we can see a video that civil fan generates for the evo evolution of temperature in this model okay here you can see uh, in this chart uh, uh, the graphs of the different uh, points of the model uh, top uh, middle and bottom and the uh, evolution of the temperature in, inside this uh, this block as you can see uh, and below you have the the, the days uh, sorry the yeah the hours and uh, in ordinate uh, you have the in y direction you have the uh, uh, temperature in uh, centigrade well and also uh, in, in previous uh, slides we have seen the temperature uh, the evolution for time and this in this plot we are plotting the, the cracks uh, in this this uh, plot this is the last the last uh, after 120 hours the last result we obtained and we can identify two different type of, of of cracks the surface cracks these surface cracks are due to temperature gradient the gradient that is generating between uh, when uh, the temperature increased inside the model and there is uh, this uh, increase on temperature inside the, the block increases the formation outside and increases stresses outside so uh, these surface cracks are generated first and they are generated when the heat is increased inside the model and there are other other crack in this case is one but uh, we could have several ones these are the deep cracks and these are more related to external restraints these external restraints that is due to this base of this uh, block uh, the stiffness is higher so uh, during cool, uh, cooling uh, also um, um, sink creates effects or other concrete effects uh, this generate a sear on the base and, and uh, these cracks that are uh, cross section cracks cross, could cross all the section for this uh, this foundation blocks this could happen horizontally in this way for uh, for walls uh, vertical walls uh, these cracks could be uh, vertical and could cross the whole the whole element and this is more related to uh, concrete cooling so the, the, these deep cracks happen uh, after uh, the surface cracks and uh, they are much more uh, dangerous if we see in this video we could see the evolution of cracks we can see that first uh, surface cracking are happening and then suddenly the base cracks uh, appear after the surface cracks so in this other example in this other plot we are comparing the two different models we saw before the model one which is a, a unreinforced concrete so there's no reinforcing bars in this model and in the second model we have reinforcing bars on the surface as we can see the reinforcing bars are reducing a little bit are reducing these surface cracks so the value of these crack widths are smaller but they don't have a very big influence in this uh, in this section cracks that happens in this and in this plot we are seeing the uh, stress in reinforcement okay uh, these uh, are the details of the next uh, uh, example example number number two as you can see here uh, they are uh, applied uh, the temperature uh, dependent uh, material properties taken from uh, euro code number two and euro code number three these are the thermal conductivity and the specific heat which are uh, uh, depending on temperature as you can see in this uh, 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 charts as well the uh, uh, compression stress uh, versus uh, strain uh, 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 is in in this uh, in this table in this chart 
Okay, uh, uh, then the thermal actions uh, in case of fire from your code number one and uh, different boundary conditions uh, will be applied and we will see the different results. This, uh, well, this example is based on a paper. Uh, this is the paper we used, uh, this numerical investigation of a reinforced concrete tunnel segment subject to elevated temperature uh, via a finite element model. In this, uh, in this paper, uh, they analyzed this tunnel lining, so we have generated the same model. And in this tunnel, they have, uh, in this tunnel, sorry, in this example, they have applied vertical loads on a, on a segment and then applied temperature on the bottom, and they have analyzed different results of this, of this model. And they have also compared with another finite element software. So what we have done is this example is starting with the um, uh, with this uh, with this example, just comparing civil fund results with this uh, uh, real results obtaining. But we have gone further, uh, analyzing a little bit the, the influence of different boundary conditions. So well, as well here, as you can see, uh, for this in this in this model, first uh, we have applied a fire on the bottom of this. Well, uh, this this fire is applied after five minutes loading on top. So here is it, as you see the model, uh, we have first applied some structural loads at one third of the, of the radius. And then after that, we have applied the fire boundary conditions on bottom. This fire boundary conditions on bottom on this part. And uh, we have applied applied different, different uh, boundary conditions on these sides. Uh, here we can see that uh, also the um, in this it is quite important the heat transfer analysis for concrete we have used this uh, this heat transfer properties for the thermal conductivity definition this is the table that we have used this is the Eurocode definition also the same for the specific heat we have used this table and also sorry we have used this table and also for steel we have used these other properties the this is the a function of related thermal conductivity and uh, in this other exam this other table we can see the uh, specific heat uh, that is temperature dependent uh, properties. So well, with this, with this um, uh, basic uh, model, we have applied different boundary conditions. These different boundary conditions was uh, uh, simply supported at both ends. So it could, at this end, it could uh, have displacements and uh, also rotational. And other boundary conditions that we fixed the, uh, the radial uh, the radial uh, deformation, so this this block could not uh, uh, could not uh, have displacement on the radial direction on the uh, circumferential direction, but we release the radial direction, so the radial direction was free, but not the circumferential. And another intermediate result with was with another model. Here we have the other model that is a, a an elastic connection. This elastic connections is through these bolts that are connected here through these, uh, uh, these, these holes. So these bolts were connected to the to the rest. Also here we have, we can see we have the reinforcement groups uh, that have pending and shear reinforcement groups. So we have applied uh, uh, five minutes, five minutes uh, boundary conditions. And so well, uh, in this model, what we can see is the evolution of the, uh, the model uh, for time. So um, if we plot the results, and in example, we plot vertical displacement of one of these nodes. Example a node from here, top middle.
So well, here we can we can see if we applied at, the, at that point uh, a vertical load. We can see that due to this vertical load, we have a vertical displacement. So uh, with some crackings for for, uh, for the first five five minutes, then we, we apply the heat. Then the heat what generates a, a, a thermal expansion that moves the the segment upwards, and finally. Uh, it starts collapsing and uh, the displacement is downwards until the collapse of the model. So, well, uh, if we um, plot the see the slides, we can see, uh, we can compare, we can see here some results that depends on the boundary conditions. We have the failure of the of the concrete, uh, these cracks, and the under the loads with the negative uh, with the positive bending moments is higher and we have these cracks also due to the negative bending moment that supports in case of completely constraints or, or flexi uh, flexible uh, flexible supports we have these other cracks and also some jailing at both supports and at these points on on steel in this plot we are also plotting the compression the compression yielding. Um, uh, uh, on this on this part, uh, due to the the, the compression uh, failure, the, the the concrete compression uh, failure, and uh, well, uh, in this last example, we are going to compare the three different options. In this case, it was uh, a flexible connections, where crackings are happening uh, of one third under the loads, and also in the support. We have positive and negative uh, boundary conditions. In the next one, on the right, what we have is um, is with another boundary conditions that is pin it simply supported and cracks only happen here. And in this other at the bottom, we have completely constrained boundary conditions. With this completely constraint due to the loads, we have compression on these zones, and uh, the thermal loads uh, are generating cracks on top. So it depends on the boundary conditions. We have different behavior of this tunnel lining and different uh, different uh, stiffness, different uh, different uh, um, uh, time uh, for the for the collapse. So all these these boundary conditions depends a lot a lot on the ring effect, the ring effect and the joint behavior of this of this uh, tunnel lining. So uh, also with civil frame we could model the total uh, rings and the, the ring effect and the joint effect with the whole circumference. Uh, the previous examples were more based on on that uh, on, on that uh, paper and uh, it was used to compare civil frame results with the uh, with the real test that were done. And also with civil frame uh, we could analyze not only the ring effect but also the construction process in example like in this example that it is this is a tunnel construction uh, where different different line segments are placed on this uh, after the excavation with a pressure on, on the front of the excavation and also in this model uh, with in this model we we have non-linear material models for the uh, for the soil and also a building on top and we could obtain the the, the displacements and the the possible uh, vibration analysis on the on the building and the possible affection on it. Okay, so uh, after these examples, we proceed with a, a summary of all the uh, concepts and aspects of uh, of this uh, webinar, which are uh, well the thermal behavior of concrete uh, structures, including the convection, conduction, and radiation uh, boundary conditions. And of course, uh, you can add as well the uh, boundary conditions for the uh, structural uh, analysis. Uh, the applications of these uh, uh, analysis are, uh, as we have seen, the, uh, an early age concrete, uh, both maturing temperature and thermal cracking, a fire resistance, and uh, solar radiation, uh, which, which wasn't uh, uh, explained today, but uh, of course it can be developed in civil time. Well, uh, what we have seen in these exam in these examples is the suitable or definite element analysis for analyzing the behavior of, of concrete structures 
and uh, base it not only in nonlinear material properties and thermal uh, time dependent and uh, temperature dependent uh, properties, but also the influence of restraints and boundary conditions and uh, how we can obtain a really detailed analysis and behavior of concrete structures for improving our designs. And the most important part is avoiding a collapse, a collapse of structures and increasing um, ductility and, and avoiding this, this type of, of collapse and problems in concrete structures. Okay, uh, well, uh, thank you very much for attending this uh, webinar. Of course, you can uh, place your questions and, or any 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 other doubt you might might have uh, using the the um, the survey that will pop up uh, once we we finish the this webinar. And of course, uh, if you would like to 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 use and to, to check civil fem, you could ask us for a trial version or a student version would work that, that you could download and and use it. Also, of course, you could ask us for these examples and you could practice and learn much more about uh, about uh, this uh, thermal structural copel analysis and please do not hesitate to email us to ask for further questions because uh, this is a short webinar and we couldn't explain in detail but please uh, do not hesitate to email us and to ask any doubt you could have about this webinar thank you for for your attention bye bye